All right, now for something a little fun. This is my ship. I call it the Honey Badger. Um, I've seen a lot of people who really don't like ladders trying to make ships, you know, their ships, no ladders, no ladders. So uh, ladders don't bother me, but I thought I'd have a little fun try to make a ship with no ladders um, and make it like a really big ship with no ladders. Uh, is this the absolute largest ship you can make with no ladders? No, it is not. But it, at this point, it was really getting ridiculous. Um, now, this design is not fully optimized. Again, I had the SSD failure, which lost everything. So I had to rebuild this from memory. I haven't taken the time to fully optimize it, make sure 100 mobility, um, all the weapons, and everything like that. This is just all about the interior layout, basic design of the ship. So, this is what it looks like from the outside. You see why I call it the Honey Badger? Alright. The entrance is here. You have both the landing bay and the docking hatch here. Enter into a three by one uh, all in one berth. On this side, we've got the infirmary. I always try to enter into the infirmary. And we've got our workshop. So we have all our crafting needs and sleep, bathroom, everything right by the door. Come around to the side, we got Deimos two by two engineering bay. Look out at the fuel tanks, the grav drive, the reactor back there. Extra storage. On this side we've got a computer core. I have the hardest time deciding what to put over here. You could easily put cargo bay or something. At one point I had a computer core and a 2 by one computer core and a science lab. I just made this science area. Um, right now I have a 2 by 2 computer core and a brig. I had the hardest time deciding what I wanted to have here. Oh, what did you do to get put in the brig? All right. So that is a lower level. And go up the stairs. We've got our cockpit. Back here to the battle stations. To this side of the battle stations, we've got living area. Up front, we've got the captain's quarters. I love this captain's quarters, it's the Hope Tech. The 2x2 two two, uh, living quarters from uh, Stroud. Uh, Tayo all in one. This is the cheap area. This might be the um, lower ranked officers, or maybe this is the men's area. This men don't care. Uh, this side we got the nicer area, maybe this is the higher ranking officers, or this is the women's area. We got just a, a nicer bedroom. Back here we have Nova 2x2 two two on one. Um, I just never used this in any ships, and I just thought, eh, let's throw it in here. I actually kind of like it, but it doesn't really work all that well right here, but, you know, I never use this for anything, so I thought, eh, I'd throw it in here. We got the armory. That's everything on this side of the ship. Let me go over to this side. Everyone's favorite. You've gotta have this. You got beds, you got home theater, you've got pool. Beautiful view. This is of course have to I have to put this in basically every ship um, when I can. Then we got three by two mess hall, and off of that we've got another two by one all in one, and another two by one all in one B with a view. So that was just a fun ship, nice massive ship with no ladders just for fun. 
It is a long walk back to the uh, landing bay, though. All right, like I said before, I didn't take the time after my SSD failure. I didn't take the time to rebuild it properly. So this is just basically for looks, uh, just the interior layout. So, on the bottom level I've got the infirmary, workshop, all in one berth, the landing bay, and the docker front. Uh, Nova Cross Passage to Demos Engineering Bay, Hope to Computer Core, Entire Brig. So basically the lower level is everything in front of this line. Um, there is a little bit of the upper level that goes in front of that line, but not much. So like the captain's quarters goes in front of that line. The uh, Nova Galactic living quarters goes just slightly in front of that line. But you come up here, you got the two Hope Deck spines, which goes to the, much of the upper area. Battle stations, living quarters, captain's quarters, all-in-one berth, Tayo all-in-one berth, Nova Galactic all-in-one, two by two, Armory, Living Quarters, Mess Hall, two by one from Stroud, two by one from Nova, and fill in some gaps with the Stroud mid bracers, Stroud nose caps to make it just look nice. Same thing, just put the white blaze on the back to make it look like a honey badger. I didn't do anything to optimize any of these numbers. I know I did have this all optimized where I had, you know, I think it was 11 crew, 100 mobility, um, massive shield, lots of weapons, all that sort of stuff. But this was really just about the interior layout. Alright, the next video will be my uh, personal design for the rebuild of the Razor Leaf. It's a you know, small, light, fast fighter, uh, but still sacrificing nothing. That'll come up next.